In this video, I'll be teaching you how to access the camera and gallery for your app. And I'll show you how to code it up for iOS and Android using Flutter. So I've opened up a brand new Flutter project and you should just get this demo counter app. Now I'm going to delete everything below the main function just to start this from scratch. So in my material app, let's have a camera page. And actually let's put this in a new file just to keep it clean. So this will be a state full widget and let's give it a blank scaffold for now. Awesome. So the first thing to do is let's open up the terminal and add in the package. Flutter pub add image picker. Great. And before we code this up, we need to add in permissions to access the camera and gallery. So starting with iOS, let's go to runner info.plist and just add these lines at the top. Cool, let's then go to Android, app, source, main, and then you wanna to go to this androidmanifest.xml. And similarly, let's place the permissions at the top. Cool, so save all that and now we can start coding. So I'll write enough comments here to make it clear for you. The first thing is the image file. Then the image picker. And then we need a method to pick the image. So for this method, I'm going to accept a parameter for the image source. So let's pick from either the camera or the gallery. And if we have a selected image, then let's update it. Sweet, now let's come down to the UI part of it. So inside this blank scaffold in the center, let's create a column with the image display on the top and some buttons below that. For the image display, let's put it in a sized box and display the image if it's selected. Otherwise, let's display a text saying no image selected. Sweet, so you can see it's kind of stuck at the top. So let's main axis alignment to the center. Sweet, now below that, let's create a row for two buttons, the camera and gallery button. Beautiful, so when we tap on these buttons, let's call our pick image method. Nice, now if you save it and you try to click on one of these buttons, looks like it's missing the plugin. So when you bring in a new package, it's a good idea to just kill the app and restart it. Cool, so now let's try. And yes, you can see it's asking for permissions and we can now say allow. And the camera actually isn't available since this is obviously a simulator. So let's test this on a real device. Nice, it's working good on my iPhone. And also the gallery button. We can now select an image and that's how easy it is.